Can you talk a little bit about deification? Because again, another source of misunderstanding, I think people are from coming from especially the fundamentalist uh, Christian tradition, uh, think that any identification with God or Jesus is a form of making yourself God. And they're very wary about that, labeling it new age thinking or some such. I think there's a much more sophisticated understanding of it from ancient uh, Christianity. Yes. And well, uh, nobody speaks more clearly about uh, deification or... Divinization is another word that's used. ...than Jesus himself. He prays that we may be one with even as the Father and he are one, which is it to be infinitely one. So. I don't know how much farther you can, or extreme you can go than that. So, so it seems to me that those texts should be studied more thoroughly. Uh, the uh, Orthodox Christians are not bashful about this at all. The whole consciousness of this person, empowered now to act in a godlike way or to live human life in a divine manner, following the example and empowered by the Spirit of Christ. Our consciousness is, is, is going to start expanding in spaciousness, in height, length, breadth, and depth. And the love of Christ, which is, encompasses all these directions, is, is uh, incorporating us in this super cosmo vision of life that is sometimes called cosmic consciousness or Christ consciousness, depending on what you mean by those terms, to make sure they're sufficiently comprehensive. But it means the presence of Christ in everything, 